Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can do this kind of path animations in Adobe After Effects easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way, if you like short 3D simulation videos, you can check out my second channel, link in the description. So now without any further ado, let's start today's video. So here we are in After Effects. Now let's start this by creating a new composition. So click on this new composition. So here I will be using this Full HD or else you can click on this preset options. Here I will be selecting this HD1080 which is a Full HD resolution with a frame rate of 30 and duration of 15 seconds. Hit OK. So we got a composition created. So first let's import an image that having a roadmap. So here I got this image. Let me drop it onto this project panel. And again, let me select and drop it onto this timeline. So now I want to make a car follow this roadmap. So for that, first make sure nothing is selected in this timeline or else you can go to this layer options new and select this shape layer. After selecting or creating this shape layer, select this pen tool. Okay. And now let's create a path that you want to make an object to follow. So I will start from here. So let me create a path. Let's take out the field out. So now let's continue this one. So if I let me increase this so that the path is visible clearly. and end this path at the same starting point here. So now we got a path created. So now come to this shape layer, drop down this one, come to this contents, shape one, expand this one. Here we will get this path one, expand this one also. Now select this path, make sure this path is selected. After selecting that, come to this window, scroll down and let me scroll down here and create on this create nulls from paths just click on that so here we will get a separate window so let me undock this one so now if i expand this you can see we got these three options here so now being selected this path make sure this path is selected click on this trace path so here you can see we got this null layer created so if i move forward you can say this is already animated so in order to reduce the speed of this animation let's press u on the keyboard of this null layer you can see these two keyframes if i drag back here this slows down the speed so now you can see the speed is bit low okay so now let's import a car image so here i got a car image here so let me drop it onto this project panel and let me drop it again down to this timeline so if you want to have drag race kind of thing set this anchor point at this front position so select this anchor position and place this anchor position here like this to get drag race kind of thing or else if you want to have smooth turning effect let it be at the center so i will place this at the center only so now let's see where our track path is here null point is here so here our null point is there so the anchor point is at this position at this corner here so remember that one so now select this car and let's rotate it press r on the keyboard for rotation options and let me rotate here so that it matches with the rotation of this null. So let me reduce the scaling, press S and let me reduce the scaling here. So I think this much is fine. Now let me select this model and let me place this car model here. So this null layer anchor point is at this corner. And if we check this car anchor point, it is at the center, which is exactly at the place of this anchor point of this null layer. Okay. So now let's be on this place if you want to adjust the rotation press r and let me adjust a bit so i think this is fine so after adjusting the rotation select this pick whip tool and parent it to the null that's it so now if i play this you can see the car will follow the path so if here we can hide out this shape layer and now we got our car animation here so now if you want to add another car image simply duplicate this null so Ctrl plus D to duplicate that null. Let me place it at the top. So let's use another image. 
of the car so here i got this another image let me place this here before using this car image let's bring some difference between this position of this nut so let me select this null layer press u on the keyboard select both the keyframes and let me drag them forward here like this so let it be here okay so now let's use another car image so here i got this car image let me drop it onto this timeline and here the anchor point is at this place so let me set at the center so select this anchor position and let me place this at the center of the car now press r and let's rotate this one press s and reduce the scaling so i think this much is fine and select this move to let me place this here at the position of this nulls anchor point and also let me rotate this a bit okay so now let's pick whip and parent this to this null so now if i play this you can see we got these both cars moving along the path so in this way we can create this path animation in adobe after effects easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care Bye.